micrometer you received is used to measure different aspects of your seam. If you look closely, you can see that this one is zeroed out when the horizontal mark on the main shaft of it lines up with the zero mark. Each tick mark, as it rolls around, is one one thousandth of an inch. Every full revolution back to zero is twenty-five thousandths. As you can see below the zero mark, there are vertical tick marks that are each 25 thousandths of an inch. On the top side of that mark, every 50 thousandths. The first measurement we're going to take is your first op thickness. To do this, you'll open up your micrometer until it fits over the lip on the first seam test. Bring it down with light pressure until your micrometer stops. And then you can read 79 thousandths of an inch. Your CAN distributor should be able to give you the seaming specs for your specific lids and ends. Make sure to take multiple measurements. We recommend six measurements around the top of the CAN, avoiding the mouth to avoid skewed measurements. For the full seam test, you'll do the same measurement for op 2 thickness, it's 44 thousandths of an inch. Just like first op, we'll take six measurements all the way around, avoiding the mouth. The next measurement you're going to take is seam height. To do this, you'll hook this edge on the bottom of the seam. Once you do that, you'll be able to roll it down to where it finds a stop keeping the micrometer parallel with the can. As you can see, this one is reading 98 thousandths of an inch. Once again, we will take six measurements around the can. After we've taken width and height, we'll take our can opener, starting at the mouth of the can, and open the can. At this point, you'll be able to see a defined line around the inside lip of the can. If you see a defined line, it means it has a good seal. If there's a blurred or no definition of the line, it's a potential of a leaking can. What this is, is the can liner changing color from the pressure of being seamed. The next step would be to find where your can opener started which should be the mouth of the can, and cut across the seam. Then, gently remove the cover hook from the body hook, a little bit at a time, to avoid bending the cover hook. Now that you have them separated, you can see the cover hook, which used to be part of the lid, and the body hook, which is part of the can. Our next measurement, we will take the body hook, which is similar to taking the height measurement on the full seam. This one reads 60 thousandths of an inch. For this measurement, we will take three measurements around the can. The final measurement we will take is the cover hook. To do this, you will lay the cover hook inside the micrometer like so, and bring it in until it finds the measurement, ensuring that it does not roll one way or another. This one is 63 